I wish I was a punk rocker. Certified double platinum here and reached number one in the UK, Scotland and Ireland as well. That was 15 years ago and today the track has notched up 40 million streams on Spotify. So as the song goes, it seems Sandy's wish to become a punk rocker has come true. Absolutely. Sandy Tom joined us now live from LA. Welcome to the morning show. Good morning, guys. Hey, congratulations. 40 million Spotify streams. How does that make you feel? That's fantastic news. That, that's amazing, actually. I didn't, I didn't even know it had that many streams. Um, but no, it's amazing. The song, you know, 15 years, and it just keeps... It keeps gaining popularity and more people discover it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really just incredible. Yeah, uh, for an artist who started performing in her basement and streaming it on MySpace, you were among the first internet singers to explode to global fame. I mean, how did you handle that crazy ride? And it's remarkable to see where, where people are now who start out on the internet. Yeah, honestly, it was just the funniest time ever. I mean, it, from the moment it started, you know, it, it just, like you say, exploded completely. Um, and it just felt like just one huge big train ride. And of course, I know I made so many trips back to Oz and everybody there just loved the song. You know, I had so much fun there and you guys actually just were the best, honestly. You guys and my, my people back in Scotland were the best. I loved so much coming out to Oz all the time. Yeah, I think on balance we're probably even better than the people back in Scotland, but that's okay, we'll work that out. Uh, your lyrics resonated with millions of people right around the world, still do today. What, take yeah. us back to where the song started. What inspired you to write the song? You know, it was, I was in, I was living in this like little bed sit in South London and it was like fairly depressing, you know, so it was me, up and coming singer songwriter, broke. Um, and I had my one, my phone, and at the time it was one of those flip phones, you know. <laughs> uh, and, and I lost it or it was stolen or something. And it just hit me so hard because it was my lifeline, you know, my family, my friends. And I looked around everywhere for a payphone that could work and they were all destroyed. And it was like, what's going on, you know? So I started writing these lyrics about, you know, back in the day when things were more simple. And plus at that time it was like the digital revolution was taking place, you know? So it was a really big change. Um, and yeah, I just I just longed for that simplistic life again, this sort of full of these innocent things, you know, and I'm sure that resonates as well just now, you know, that's the yeah. thing. I think that whole idea of just going back to a more simpler way of life is sort of always going to resonate with people. Um, and yeah, I think it just at the time, it, it just really spoke to everybody. We were just watching the video then. You sing in time as the video speeds up and slows down. I mean, yeah. Take us back to that. How was it shooting that? So I have to, I had to learn the song phonetically, and I would sing it, you know, in slow motion, or I would sing it sped up. So when you put it back in real time, it, it sounded right. But I had to learn. I had to practice it so and so many times to learn it how it would actually sound during the video. And the guy who was filming it, you know, because it's all shot in one take. He was wearing a steady cam, holding the camera like this, and he was walking backwards the whole time as well. Wow. So there were so many things in this song, you know, that if some small little thing went wrong, the video would just, we'd have to go back to the start. So it was such an interesting song to, that the video was really interesting to make. And actually at the end, the guy who streaks, who um, gets his bomb out, uh, he's the, the video director. So it was, yeah, it was just all very, it was a really <laughs> cool, so really cool video to make. Well, until we had another look at that video, the uh, guy ice skating in Amsterdam was the weirdest thing we've seen on the show today, but that's now, that's now, now our favourite. Hey, we know you're a mum, uh, your son Logan, and you're moving back to the US, right? So wh when can yes. we expect some more music from you? So I'm, my son is almost five now. Um, and when I had my son, I took a, a really long break, you know, because I wanted to just be mum and just give him all my time and all oh, there is. Um, so he's almost five now, so he's kind of a bit older. So I just started working on album number seven. Um, yeah, it's crazy, seven albums since the first one. Um, and I'm also doing some really cool collaborations in the UK with actually there's a dance version of punk rock coming out this year, like a 15 year anniversary version. So yeah, Logan's gonna come back out to, back out to LA and mom start working again and it's all very exciting. You are he, a he, you're a busy woman. <laughs> well, and maybe in 15 years you can do a duet with Logan. He looks like he might have some <laughs> talent there on the keyboard. 
he does honestly he's so um he loves to dance and sing he can really sing very well he's got yeah. a great ear great. and he loves playing piano and guitar and everything so yeah i think he's me he's going to be he's going to be a talented little boy great stuff all right sandy lovely to catch up with you today and i think we all yearn for that to go back to a simpler time so those lyrics do mean a lot to a lot of people around the world thanks for joining us thanks so much for having me guys thanks, thanks sandy we're back after